Hello and welcome to Sea Rise and Cutlery. I'm Brian and today we have something very special to show you. About a year ago, Sea Rise and Cutlery released its first OEM knife, the Ohio River Jack Slip Joint. That proved to be a very popular knife and here we are one year later with most of them sold. So that brings us to today and today we have the second OEM design from Austin Jackson, owner of Sea Rise and Cutlery. These are the Lake Champlain Barlows and you're getting the first look at them right now. A lot of effort went into the design of these slip joints and we're happy to have them finally to bring to you. Just like the Ohio River Jack, these are made by QSP and feature M390 blades and titanium bolsters. But that's about all they have in common so let's get into them and take a closer look at these new modern traditional slip joints. So in front of us we have six Lake Champlain Barlows. We've got natural micarta, black micarta, and this one right here is green micarta handles. And these blades come in either a clip point or a sheep's foot shape. There's also carbon fiber and titanium handles available, but that's for another video. The Lake Champlain Barlow gets its name from the aircraft carrier, the USS Lake Champlain CV-39. This aircraft carrier was commissioned in 1945 at the tail end of the Second World War and saw action off the coast during the Korean War. It was this vessel that Clarence Reisner, Austin's grandfather, and the namesake of C. Reisner Cutlery, served aboard during his time in the U.S. Navy. Like the aircraft carrier, the Lake Champlain Barlows are built to serve and last many years of hard work. The Micarta on these is from Ultrax Composites who are based in Iowa. The Ultrax Micarta is among the highest quality Micartas available on the market. These are canvas Micarta handles and they give a good grip texture even when wet. They aren't quite as rough as burlap Micarta but they're not as smooth as linen just right in the middle. Compared to the Ohio River Jack, these Micarta handles are a bit rougher texture, not quite as smooth, more of a rugged feel in the hand. It's a fairly large knife, about four and a quarter inches closed and seven and three quarter inches when opened. So a little larger than the Ohio River Jacks, but still something that fits in your pocket or in a leather slip nicely. The Micarta isn't quite as dark as the River Jacks either. They tend to vary a bit depending on the individual piece whereas the Lake Champlain Barlow handles are pretty consistent with what you see here. You can see the hollow grind of the blade here along with the blade choil. The M390 steel will stay sharp for a while, but when it's time to sharpen you won't have too much trouble as long as you have a bit of patience and quality instruments. One of the major ideas behind creating a knife like the Lake Champlain Barlow or the Ohio River Jack is having a quality traditional slip joint that can be actually used in the real world. There's a lot of great knives out there, but you don't always want to use your fancy expensive knife on hard tasks because you don't want to scuff it up or lose it. These knives are supposed to be the intersection of quality and value, getting a high quality, well-built working tool that you can keep on you and use every day. Getting these knives dirty isn't something to be avoided, it's the whole point. Here's the sheep's foot model in natural canvas micarta. The bolster and liner are one piece of integrated titanium bead blasted to give it that sort of matte finish. The hardware is also titanium, polished screws, and you can see everything is nice and flush like it's supposed to be. The nail neck is extra large, so you don't even need an actual nail to open it up. You can just pinch and pull it like I just did. It's fairly easy to open, pretty comparable to the Ohio River Jacks. Overall fit and finish on these slip joints is excellent. The opening is smooth with no grinding. The handles are perfectly matched with the bolster with no gaps between. And the Micarta has a very consistent texture and coloring. The screws are titanium just like the bolsters. They're flush with the handle and you don't notice them when you run your hand over it. The blades are centered across the board. They don't lead into one side or rub up against the liner. QSP did a great job on the Ohio River Jacks and they did it again with these like Champlain Barlows. So that's the Lake Champlain Barlows, or at least the Micarta handles. If you think they would look great in carbon fiber or titanium handles, then you're in luck. Head on over to our website to see them all, and as usual, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.